Hey babes, my name is Winnie Jean and today I'm going to show you guys how I made this super cute closure wig using my sewing machine in about an hour to be honest. This is my first time doing it but I am very familiar with my sewing machine. I've had one for years. I actually went to fashion design school at a point in time so I kind of just hopped into it after watching a few videos and I absolutely love it. I'm never making a wig by hand again. This wig feels so much more sturdy. So yeah, if you want to see how I got this look using hair from TickledPinkHair.com, then keep watching because this hair is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the wave. This is the wave. Like, do you see this hair? That's, that's what you call a ringlet. <sighs> okay, let me stop. So to start off, I have my wig cap pinned on to my dome head, and this is just stretched out to help me get my placement and everything together. For this wig, I'm using a 3x4 virgin hair closure, and I believe it's 18 inches, but I'll have all of the details down in the description bar. And once I have the closure placed the way that I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and sew it down by hand using a curved needle and thread super simple nothing too crazy now because I want this wig to be super strong and like secure I'm gonna go in and go over that stitch that I did by hand with the sewing machine this just makes it super secure I know that I'll be able to wash this wig as many times as I need and after I have it sewn down, I'm going in with some scissors and cutting off the excess dome cap under the closure. And this will just allow the wig to lay flat on your head. Now I picked up this cheap dollar white eyeliner and I'm going to use this to mark out my placement for my tracks on my wig cap. Just because I want to make sure that everything is symmetrical. This is my first time doing this and I do not want to mess up. So... I'm just taking my time and marking everything out. I'm making horizontal lines about one inch from one another and this will just allow me to keep everything nice and even. Now for this wig I'm using 228 and 126. All of the specs are down in the description bar. This hair is from a company called Tickle Pink Hair and it is so so pretty. So before I start laying the tracks I want to double my webs. With the 228 inch bundles I'm just laying one on top of another and kind of staggering them essentially creating a double whiff um, there's a video that I watched that explained this so so good and I'll put that down in the description bar so now I'm just starting to lay the tracks along the lines that I placed on the wig cap and I'm making sure to have everything nice and placed exactly how I want it before I start sewing and going really really slow and another thing that's really important and everybody that I watched emphasize this is not stretching the cap because it'll create bunching when you apply the wig and I did that in one area but you can't really see it if you want me to make another more detailed tutorial on how I can make a wig like this then I definitely would and I can get a bit closer I wasn't sure if it was going to be a fail or not so I kind of just halfway filmed it but it turned out really really cute and I wanted to share it but I also have a styling video with this hair where I'm going to curl it up and I might even cut some bangs into it so Stay tuned for that video because this hair is about to be my summer hair. Like honestly, I'm so excited about it. It's so, so pretty and I know it will take color really, really well. When you get to the end of the track, make sure to go back and forth and that just secures the track in place before you go ahead and trim the thread. Okay, so now I'm at the top and I only have two tracks that I have to put down now. I'm going to put one more double track and then that last track right next to the closure is going to be a single weft and that way we can make sure that everything is nice and flat when we go to style. So same thing, I'm just making sure it's properly placed and slowly using my zigzag stitch to lay the tracks down. Hey babes, okay so I'm just popping in to show you guys how the wig turned out. I hate watching tutorials on how to make wigs and then they don't show you what they look like. So this is the wig. Um, I just washed it. I like to wash my wigs after I make them if I'm going to do a custom wig. Um, and what that does is just allows the waves and curls to kind of set in the position that they'll be sitting in on the wig. So I co-washed this wig after I finished sewing it. But yeah, this unit fits perfectly. Okay, so this is the wig with no cutting. I haven't really styled it much. And it's very long. And 
And again, this is 228 and the 26, and it goes all the way down here. So that's like very long. And then on the sides, it hits me about here. I haven't worn hair this long since I was in high school. To style, I'm just going to grab a little bit of water. This is my spray bottle. I need a little finer of a mist, thank you. And I like to wet my hair to part it. It just makes it a bit easier. So I'm just gonna go in with my handy dandy spray, okay? <laughs> and spray my part. This is my jam, like if I'm really not trying to slay today and I just need my wig to stay today, okay? <laughs> I just put a little bit of hairspray in the part and it keeps everything on fleek. Now since I'm going for a super natural look, I'm not gonna do any baby hair in the middle. Sometimes I'll do like that little, you know, little swoop situation, but not today, not today. I'm gonna go in with my way wave spray spray all you do what i don't know going in with this i got it as a sample from sephora Ooh. i got a little bit in my eye and i'm going to just apply this to the top area to help me blend in the different wave patterns because that's one thing with like good quality hair is that sorry i want to get it in my mouth um, the wave pattern isn't always the same all the way through. This smells so good. It's later. Let me stand up so you can really see. 